Hey everybody, John and Lance from the bench. Mornings on ESPN 97.5 and 92.5. You know, Lance, there are some fans of me, and we've been talking about it, think that you can uh, rebuild quicker if you deal Deshaun Watson because all the draft equity the team would get in return, something that they don't have right now. But what reason would the fans have to believe the Texans would draft well enough, uh, much less find another franchise-level quarterback? Now, all the dumb decision-makers are gone. You know, other than Jack Easterby, who was a decision maker, but I don't think Jack Easterby is going to have ha, going to have any say in personnel decisions. I think Nick Casario is probably strong enough to keep him at bay and keep him in, to keep Jack Easterby and in his lane. He can fight Easterby. Like, have you seen him? They say Nick is yoked. He works out a lot. I think he could beat up Jack Easterby if it came to a fist fight in the building. Yeah, too. no, 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 no. I think if they if they went to blows, I'm going to take Casario yeah, in that one, to, and I'm going to make him like sure. at least a two to one favorite. Yeah, but but I don't think it'll come to blows. Okay, per okay, se. yeah, all right. But but I do I do ask this: is when are we going to be able to have some confidence in this organization that they're not going to just screw everything up? Well, there are two words, John: faith and trust. And I think you have to have faith and trust that Nick Casario is going to do it different, that Cal's going to get pretty smart, okay, and that whoever they hire is going to be the right guy, and they're going to start drafting well, giving better contracts, doing better deals. Faith and trust. Hashtag hmm. faith and trust. <laughs> now hashtag faith and then hashtag trust. Do the and in between and just go hashtag faith and trust. And I think it's going to make the McNairs That's happy, not, Jack happy. That's not it. The fans how happy. You're a slogan drafting, away from being pretty good. How about actually drafting good players, giving out good contracts? How about actually picking up good, decent free agents that are yeah, worth mean, the value? How about those things instead of hashtag faith and trust? When you don't have faith, they fail. Have some faith. Have some faith, trust. Have faith and fail. trust. Faith, not fail. Okay, let me ask you this. Uh -huh. Would you rather have, okay. See how easy this is to fix? Think back to the Schaub era. He wasn't an elite quarterback. He was good. He went to a Pro Bowl, Pro Bowl MVP, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> um, now the Texans have an elite quarterback in Deshaun Watson, but they got a crappy roster. Texans had a really good roster and a, and a mediocre quarterback. Now they got a great quarterback and a less than mediocre roster. Doesn't it prove you've got to have that? You've got to have an elite quarterback to get to the top of the NFL. Look at the quarterbacks that are left right now in the NFL playoffs. All great quarterbacks. So, you, I can't ask for everything. I can't ask for a great quarterback and a great roster. So, which would we, which would we prefer right now? Jimmy Garoppolo got there last year, and he was a few plays away from winning a Super Bowl. He's certainly not elite. So, I think you can do it. That's a little unusual because the same offensive style that put Matt Schaub into the Pro Bowl is, is in a way being run in San Francisco. It's a really good offense. It can be – and it can make quarterbacks look better than they are. So let's – let's and they had a great defense. But generally speaking, yes, you're right. Good quarterbacks can hide blemishes on rosters. Average quarterbacks cannot. You know, they just can't. So I would rather have an elite quarterback. But what is an elite closer on a 60-win on a baseball team? He's a waste of time. He's, there's no value in that. The value in an elite quarterback is only if you build up, you know, you build up the roster around him, which I don't, I don't think Deshaun would be freaking out if they had a first and second round pick. I think he's less likely to freak out if they had a couple of better players. If, if Justin Reed was still playing like he was two years ago, if Jonathan Grenard was this surprise draft pick who had six sacks this year. If Titus Howard was really balling out and Max Sharping really improved, I don't think he'd – I honestly, and they had two, a first and a second, I don't even know that we're having this conversation about Cal or anything else. What the hell are you saying? You mean if players were playing well and you had draft picks, then everything would be okay? Is that what you just told me? And maybe I need oh, to have faith and trust. If you that, had good players – if you had good players and draft picks, my goodness, yeah. then everything would be all right. I, Guess I what? Desha you don't have I, I any of that. I think Deshaun would have a better chance of winning. That's oh, okay. what I'm saying. All right. Okay, then. Goodbye. Goodbye, Deshaun. Nice seeing you.